good afternoon and jai hind everyone today we are discussing ncrt exercise 14.5 and you know before i start this exercise let me tell you this exercise is extremely easy and also very interesting you know very very interesting exercise is this now what is in this exercise always remember in this exercise you have to do the question by using your logic okay by doing your logic now how logic now understand this in this chapter you have to divide in this exercise you have to divide the line segments the line segments in equal parts okay remember always remember that whenever you talk about any figure and you have to divide that figure in two equal parts may i ask from you all that if a line divides a figure into two equal part what that line is called tell me faster if a line divides the figure into two equal parts what that line is called very good yes very good sanat very good avantika yes that line is known as line of symmetry okay so remember in this exercise you will draw the line of symmetry by your own with the help of ruler and compass and also you will divide the given line segment in different different equal parts okay and isme hum cross check bhi karenge ki humne apna answer sahi nikala hai ki nahi theek hai to sabse pehle now i what i want everybody to choose any line segment of as per the your as per your choice choose any line segment which you want to draw on your copy with any measurement you can take 10 cm you can take 5 you can take 11 you can take 7 as per your wish do it faster so i am rubbing this and i am taking a line segment of 8 cm i am taking 8 now the wish is yours which length you want to take i have taken 8 cm okay so students as i see that there are multiple line segments which you have chosen somebody chosen 4 cm somebody chosen 6 cm somebody 5 7 11 12 or 13 as well so what we are going to do without taking the help of ruler we will be dividing this line in two equal parts theek hai and we will also match that our answers are right or not theek hai for this what we will do student take your compass and you can see we have a line segment and we have two end points one is p another one is q what i will do i will place my compass in open condition on p or q and we will open i will open my compass more than half theek hai look at here more than half hamesha zyada open karo beta kam nahi open hona chahiye theek hai so always the first condition more than half open it after opening your compass more than half just put your needle of the compass on one end point you can choose p you can choose q so i am choosing p now i will cut an arc upside with the same radius without changing the position of compass i will do the same process below also look at here top and bottom as well by using point p do it till here all the students do it till here 
up and down both the places by using compass taking more than half radius okay very good now after this with the help of the same position without changing i do the same process with point q ab humne q liya and i have started making the same type of arc upside and the same type of arc downside also i have done it now we'll get this type of position as i have got it do it till here great now after doing till here just you will find there are two x one or above the line one below the line now what you have to do is you have to dark the middle point of x here also the middle point of x ye jo arc hai dono arc ne jahan par aapas mein cut kiya hai now you have to join both the points look at here look at here i have joined my points which was above and below after joining i am getting a line which is just passing from the center of the line which was given previously now students start checking that are you getting the line segment in equal parts or not my line was 8 so let me check is it 4 or not absolutely correct no wrong thing absolutely correct 4 cm is coming the measurement yahan par bhi 4 aa raha hai and here also i am getting 4 only so my diagram is correct now you check it yours is it coming right or not so i hope everybody has done it done the previous one now let's do the same question once again this time i am taking the line segment of 14 cm you can choose any length according to your wish i don't have any problem okay but it should be different from the previous one so now first of all i will be taking a line segment of length 14 cm the first thing so i took 14 cm length i will give a name suppose this time i am taking a name cd after taking cd as length i will be looking here in the question i have two end points c and d so what i will do is i will open my compass and i will take more than half मोर देन हाफ मतलब होता है बेटा जो आप शुरुआत में लेते हो शुरुआत अगर गलत होगी तो लास्ट तक गलत आएगा यू हैव टू चूज योर कंपास मोर देन हाफ इन रेडियस सो आई विल जस्ट कीप माय कंपास वन बाय वन ऑन बोथ द एंड पॉइंट्स एंड आई विल मेक अ मेक एन आर्क अपसाइड एंड बिलो आल्सो सो सबसे पहले सी पे रखेंगे ऊपर कट किया एंड द सेम थिंग नीचे भी कट किया ओके एंड द सेम थिंग आई विल बी डूइंग फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज डी ऊपर भी कट किया एंड नीचे भी बेटा प्लीज कीप इन योर माइंड डू नॉट चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस कंपास वाइल मेकिंग द आर्क from both the end it should be exactly same from both the side okay now after doing this process you will find one x is upside and one x is downside after this join the middle point of x by using your scale so i will be joining this got it 
ठीक है एंड नाउ यू कैन क्रॉस चेक दैट यू आर गेटिंग द सेम मेजरमेंट और नॉट माई लाइन वॉज फोर्टीन सो इट शुड बी सेवन सेवन लेट मी चेक ओके एब्सोल्यूटली सेवन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो सेवन फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो इट मीन्स माई लाइन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ एंड यू आर नोइंग दैट दिस लाइन दिस लाइन हैज डिवाइडेड my line into two equal parts so i will speak this that this line which i can give the name as l m n whatever name i want so this line is dividing my line segment into two equal parts so that is why line l is axis of symmetry or line of symmetry you can speak anything finished komal have you understood this time students we have to draw a circle this time of choosing the diameter 12 cm in place of 12 cm you can choose the radius according to diameter according to you also theek hai now what we have to do you can see after drawing the diameter 12 cm you will be drawing a circle theek hai and then what you have to do you have to after creating the circle you have to make one diameter in the circle and you have to make diameter into two equal parts theek hai just check it once sabse pehle kya karenge look at here diameter is 12 cm so what will be radius Six centimeter. So now, first, I'll be choosing a radius which will be of six centimeter. Now I'll be drawing a circle with the help of this measurement. this is the circle now now after drawing the circle you have to make one diameter so i am making this diameter now okay this is my diameter i am giving the name pq and you are knowing that radius was 6 cm so diameter is of 12 cm okay because we have already chosen 12 cm now all the students please draw a perpendicular bisector or you can simply call it divide this line into two equal parts by the same process as we have done it theek hai abhi jo humne just purane wale question mein kiya tha by the same way please divide this diameter into two equal parts if the line is passing through center that means you are going right with the question jab aap iska draw karenge bisector agar wo line center se pass karegi that means aapka solution ekdam sahi hai okay once again telling you you have to draw the bisector of this line bisector means a line which divides into two equal parts so you have to divide this line into two equal parts if you will get that line passing through center that means you are right with that question try the question now so students what we will do we will simply take 
more than half radius of this diameter for making the bisector of it upside we will cut and downside we will cut the same way we will do the same process by another end up and down also okay and now after this i will be joining middle point of both the x and now i will be joining with the help of scale if your line is passing through center that means your diagram is correct okay so now we have completed this question as well students please keep in your mind that bisector is a line which divides the line into two equal parts theek hai so yaad rakhiyega is chapter mein hum line of symmetry bhi divide kar line of symmetry bhi bana rahe hain bisector bhi bana rahe hain and also we are dividing the line into two equal parts that's all for today